What's going on guys, Brian here and today we're going to do a part 2 on how to shoot cinematic videos with the Canon G7X Mark II. If you like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. Let's get your settings right first before you go out in the field. The one thing I suggest is to change your frame rate to 60 frames per second. This way you'll have the flexibility to use slow motion later on when you're editing. You can do this by clicking on the menu, go to page 8, and change the movie record size to 1920 by 1080 and 59.94 frames per second. Next thing you want to do is shoot your video in a flat profile so that you'll be able to control the look of your films in post. For beginners, I suggest just changing your picture profile to neutral. You can do this by clicking on menu, then head to page 6 and select picture style. Then highlight neutral and press the set button to select. For the more advanced users, click on picture style again, but this time select one of the user defined options by highlighting it and then clicking on the ring function button on the camera. Here are the numbers that I set for each individual category. One other thing you'll want to set are your shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. The shutter speed should always be at 125 since you always need to double your frame rates per second. The aperture and ISO is something you'll have to adjust based on where you're shooting. Also, don't forget to turn on the built-in ND filter when shooting outside. This way, you'll be able to shoot at a faster aperture and get that silky smooth depth of field in your videos. Now that we got all that technical stuff out of the way, let me show you different ways to shoot with this camera to make your footage look cinematic. There are different ways to make sure that your film looks cinematic. I also believe this will help you capture what you need for your videos. Here are 5 ways to make your footage look cinematic with the Canon G7X Mark II. Stabilize your shots. Use tables, walls, and whatever it is you have in your surrounding to help you stabilize your shots. I know it might look a little awkward, but trust me, once you see your footage afterwards, you'll be glad you did it. You can do a sliding motion towards or away from your subject on a table to get an extra smooth shot. You can even tilt the camera down slowly as you get closer to the subject to add another touch of cinematic to your footage. Throw in some slow motion when editing in post and your footage will look golden. Here's one of me using a wall to stabilize my shot. I place my elbow on the wall and slowly move towards my subject. This is another great way to keep your footage stable. Number 2. Depth of Field This camera will let you shoot at f1.8 and like I mentioned earlier, this will get you that awesome depth of field look. Take advantage of this awesome feature and do cool things like focusing on one subject then tapping on another subject in frame to change the focus. Number 3. Slow Tilting Shots I use this one a lot since you can basically do this wherever you are. Just make sure you're not moving your feet at all. Just have them planted and tilt your body forward and back. Hold the camera out firmly and make sure your arms are stiff as well. You will get nice subtle moving shots which should look nice when slowed down in post. Number 4. Creative Shots Get creative with your angles. Shoot high up and slowly bring it down. Get close ups and wide angle shots. Rotate your camera around to add that music video look to your film. It's always good to get different types of shots. This way you'll have different types of footage to choose from once you start editing. Number 5. Pullback Shot Start by going up close to your subject, then walk backwards to reveal. This works best with the speed ramping effect as you're able to speed up the movement, then slow it down again. Click the link in the top right corner if you want to learn how to do the speed ramping effect in Final Cut Pro X. 